Today I will be digging logworm instead of pumping because in Norway it's the most effective way to do it because you can never be sure of how the ground is going to be. Today I'm going to be using a shovel, generally you use a fork, but this is a good all round tool. Yes. Here we have lots of lugworm and you cannot distinguish one from another. So generally you just dig backwards and dig a trench but me, myself, right now I'm trying to preserve these worms and I want the biggest ones so I'm just targeting the big guys. I'm going to process these worms, salt them and put them in a vac bag so I want the biggest worms possible. I just select a lump of worms with big worms in it basically and each time I dig I get two or three worms. Dig as deep as possible. There they come. There's one guy. He's okay, he'll do. Nice big worm. We'll see what else we can find. And there's another one, right? Two decent worms. So if you salt them, they'll keep for longer and actually I believe they fish better, okay? So this worm, I'm going to show you how to dig individually. This one is quite high up the beach, so most likely, if there's no water, it will be with its tail up, so its head is in the water and its gills are in the water so it can breathe. This is its tail end with all the sand, and that's its feeding hole there. Now, in theory, it should be tail up with its head down in a U-shaped burrow like this, with its head down with its gills in the water, and here's the squirrely bit at the back. Okay, nice and deep. Uh, that's it there. Move quick. biggest one but it is one so that's how you dig them individually depending on which way the tide is going if the tide is coming in it's most likely that you can get them from their feeding hole easier okay noise as well as lugworm you'll also get paddock clams and it's always good to repair the damage you've done to them that's it so I'm Billy, this is Billy digging Arctic worms. Wherever you are in the world, remember, I'll see you in the beach. Bye.